Yes. Um, you know, in, in Buddhism, um, I know that there's different, like, the four somethings and then the eight something and the eight, <laughs> I forgot what they're called, four because I get this little email path. sometimes from this uh, Buddhist.com, and it has interesting things and, and the precepts of, you know, follow this, and, but it kind of relates to the right behavior. And, and so I guess if you wanted to know what the right behavior is, but some of those things are interesting to read. Uh, Religion, right. Like... Well, today, you know, I had a, 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 a an email from a, an old client that she had a clear awakening years ago. She uh, signed for the awakening protocol. She had been in the in the yoga path for twenty years or more. Was a, a teacher, a trainer, and um, very very good in her specialty. A, a high difficult aspect of, or methodology of the Hatha Yogas. And, um, and then she, she signed for this, you know, awakening protocol that uh, I, perhaps she didn't have much expectations. She just was curious and had, had the money to pay it. And um, so she, uh, we had the awakening protocol and she, in those three hours, she had a clear awakening and um, and then I would say that through the years she has maintained her awakening uh, to some degree but at the same time the mind body organism had to deal with quite a few things yeah that were significant so um, in this process uh, she tells me in her email that she has been going again into the, I think, sutras or the, where is the, or the, eight, the eight steps of Patanjali that start with Yama Niyama. And then she, she has been looking into Yama Niyama. And when, when she heard, when she read the email that you all you received, then she was reminded of, uh, and she noticed that she was dealing with behavior looking at this yama ni yama uh, recommendations, right? So as Mindy is saying in Buddhism, you know, there are so many recommendations about yama ni yama or uh, do's and don'ts, same in Hinduism, same in the yogis, same the Christian traditions with the Ten Commandments and all, all these uh, uh, recommendations. And uh, they are no more than that. They are just recommendations because uh, the <clears throat> every situation in life is can be can be extremely complex and then uh, it needs to be discerned from the buddhic mind it needs to be discerned from intuition and it cannot be discerned just by following a rule and uh, the, the the sad part of the rule the, the good part of the rules obviously is that it helps the aspirant in the beginnings of the path, yeah? And hopefully they will let it go. The problem is that many times they don't let go of that soon enough and then they become fanatics about the do's and don'ts and their Ten Commandments or their Yama Ni Yama or whatever. And then uh, with this, then, then it becomes more an obstacle to growth than, uh, than something that helps. Is meant to be for individuals that are at the beginning of the path. Um, once you are uh, connecting really with intuition, you need to let go of those things. Um, this was the thing. So I hope that answers your question, well, Mindy. No, I, I was just making a comment. 